Hey, Theta Gang. Thank you to all who wished me well during my medical procedures. It's good to be back. Shout out to the Discord reaching 5,000 members and this channel reaching 1,000 subscribers. Seeing many of you transform from degenerate gamblers to winning option sellers continues to drive me to produce content both here and on the Discord. Joining us won't make you a successful trader overnight, but like all things worthwhile, it takes time. Since it's been a while, let's go over the 10 rules to the 10K challenge. We are selling undefined risk, mostly straddles and strangles, with infinite downside to collect maximum premium during earnings week. The expected movement must be greater than 10%, so that we can profit if the stock moves in single digit percentage range, either up or down. Each episode, we must collect 1,000 or more in premium. Sometimes I may pick more than one stock or sell more than one contract to get us over $1,000 for the week. We sell to open the session before earnings announcement and buy to close immediately the session afterwards. Straddles are always in the money, so we don't want to get assigned stock towards expiration, just profit from the IV crush. We won't roll these trades, so whatever the loss or profit is after earnings, we're getting out to free up buying power for the next earnings play. No biopharmaceutical or liquid companies where the binary event is something other than earnings. We want to profit off the irrational greed and fear of Wall Street bettors but not have to research FDA or legal paperwork to do so. The challenge ends when we've either profited or lost $10,000 in these plays. There will be big swings and the losses can knock back several episodes of wins. When we collect $1,000 in premium, we often need several thousand in margin to make these trades. Do not mimic this challenge in a four digit account. If you want to make trades similar to these, consider adding 16 delta wings to my straddle to make your trade a defined risk iron fly. Doing so will sacrifice about 20% of the premium, but will cap your max loss typically in the hundreds rather than thousands. We are making these trades on a commission platform, so these costs will be included. If you trade on Robinhood, you ultimately pay a much higher rate for poor fills than you would for a commission on Thinkorswim or Tasty Trade. Remember, when the product is free, you are not the customer, you are the product. Due to the backlog of trades I've made for this series, we may have to jump back or go ahead a couple weeks to make all of this line up. I'll update a Google Sheet in the description with each trade and its data so you can follow along. And now, let's get back to business. Checking in on the SS Theta, we're one for one and up $480 from our great GameStop play last episode. GameStop has made a fortune selling games with loot boxes. So why not sell options against a company like Chewy that sells loot boxes for your pet? IPOs often have sky-high expectations, where options buyers are hoping for the stock to moon or crater far quicker than more established companies. During its first earnings, Chewy's option chain showed an expected movement of over 12%. When its price was halfway between $29 and $30, I sold a straddle at both these strikes. That meant I would be profitable as long as this $29.50 stock didn't drop below 26 or climb above 33. These two straddles will collect us $714 in premium, but rather than doubling up and going way over $1,000 in premium, I'd like to make one other smaller trade. Bad Bath & Beyond was traded with a higher expected movement, 16% for its Q2 earnings, this number is ludicrous. I know they just hired a new CEO, but is WSB thinking every Becky and Karen in the nation is remodeling their bathroom? Similar to Chewy, this stock is trading direct center of two different strike prices. So I'm going to sell a straddle on both the 10 and the $11 strike. 
netting us $339 and getting us over the $1,000 in premium required. Before we check in on Chewy, a word from our sponsor. The days of you losing money doing all those degen bets are over. Every trade you have is failing. Your quest to become rich with FDs show your folly. You are already smarter than average. You are already disciplined to make calculated risk. You were already part of the next generation of traders. You were already Theta Gang. And if you thought you listened to WSB, that WSB would empower you. And now all you are is a broke trader with a bunch of expiring calls. Like a noob signing up for Robin Hood and buying the cheapest thing he sees. There's still time to stop this, but you don't have long. Because time, time is always decaying. Not long to get off this path. You see, I don't fear those trades that lose money, but those that cause false hope. Before we check in on Bed Bath & Beyond, a word from our sponsor. I trade smarter than you. I am wiser. Certainly, I will profit more often than you. You may think buy and hold is the future, but you are wrong. If I had a wish, I'd wish to be an autist. To know how to yellow without research. To lose and then do it again. 
I can achieve prosperity by working 50 long years. You can achieve prosperity simply by doing one great trade. See somewhere waiting for me My lover stands on golden sand And watches the ships that go sailing Somewhere beyond the sea She's there watching for me if I could fly like birds on high Then straight to her arms I'd go sailing It's far beyond the star It's near beyond the moon I know beyond a doubt My heart will lead me there Beyond the shore, we'll kiss just as before. Happy we'll be beyond the sea, and never again I'll go sail. For the second week in a row, we've punched our ticket to Tendy Town, this time with $408 in profit from Chewy and $170 in profit from Bed Bath Beyond, netting us $578.66 after buying back our straddles and paying commissions. This puts us at 3 for 3 and plus $1,059 for the challenge, way ahead of what my expectations were for starting this. In the next episode, will my overconfidence get to me as I sell the largest straddle I've done in over a decade of trading, a $2,600 straddle on Roku, in hopes to double up our potential profits.